guys. Um, today we've been doing just a lot of little tasks. Um, you know, things that need to get done, but just haven't quite got there. Every now and then when we get an opportunity with the weather as well, it's been pretty terrible. Um, so yeah, sorry if it's been a little bit ad hoc with our filming. Um, but we are trying to film as much as possible, or at least try and get the, the good stuff in. Um, we had the bench trial the other day, uh, there might be a photo, it's definitely one on Instagram, so go check that out if you want to. Um, and that was looking good. And now, I guess task we've done as of recently is colour testing, very neutral beach colours. Gonna actually have to sand that back, just like that, but anyway. Um, we've also got the main fitting for the sink in. Under there, which is exciting stuff. It's funny how just like a little trap like that kind of, I don't know, makes it seem more of a house now. I've also decided on a floor, which is going to be a cork base. Um, yeah, kind of not everyone's taste, but I think it'd be quite good. It's going to be an insulator. Um, should have some sound deadening qualities as well. Um, and with a polyurethane finish, I think. I don't know, I think it'll look quite cool, but I guess the proof will be in the pudding. The first step to getting the floor laid was sanding down the putty we had used to fill out the holes, gaps and uneven flooring. It was a pretty tedious job making sure that we could get it as tidy as possible, but necessary for the finish we were after. It feels smoother when you walk around on it. So we've kind of worked out a template of how we want the tiles roughly to look. Um, and basically we're gonna do two straight lines. So one straight line is gonna come from this point right across. And then also from the same tile, um, this edge right across. I think. <laughs> nicely um hopefully i'm going to be able to cut all of the bases today it's the aim anyway put it in this back it's coming to go nicer bench looking good and also oh yeah Putting these trims in just to show you guys what it might look like. Just the kind of idea. Yeah, it's coming along. It's coming along. The next couple of weeks consisted of rolling on the resin, sanding it back to smooth it out, and then repeating four or five times as it would add colour, protection and durability to the flooring as well as making it look like one complete floor instead of individual tiles Probably sick of seeing that floor um, but basically I have to wait now for it to dry It's quite a nice film over the cork now um, but I'm going to give it one more sand and then just a nice tidy light finish over the top um, and hopefully that kind of mitigates some of the blotches that I can see now um, I guess the reason why we, it's, it is a little bit blotchy is just the cork and the cracks were just soaking up the, the, poly, the polyurethane so I decided to put it down quite thick and I think it's actually working a treat now so I'm willing to accept the blotches in order to have that nice thick filmness over top um, obviously I'm not a professional <laughs> While Dylan waited for the resin to dry, he essentially couldn't work on anything inside the bath. Lucky for him, he had some odd jobs that needed doing which could be done in the bath. Right guys, moving on to the next job. Um, and that's actually coming back to our plywood 
base for the the bed. Um, essentially, we took the, the we took the plywood off so we could work on the floor and around the walls. Um, notably, the plywood's been sitting in the barn for I don't know some number of months, and it's not treated. Um, which in hindsight, maybe we should have got treated wood. We didn't really want all those chemicals right next to where we were sleeping. Um, <laughs> what we're going to do instead is actually sand them back and then put the polyurethane. We'll see if the polyurethane will soak into the plywood just to act as a, a fungi or fungus um, barrier. Uh, it's a waterborne product. You know, it's probably a hell of a lot less harmful than what they treat the wood with. Um, obviously depending on the level of treatment but yeah I think it's a good solution um, because if you take a look at them now there's some mold growing on them yeah as I see what we're going to do I'll sand it back and then I'll drill out the holes I need to to air out the mattress and then I'll go over that with uh, the polyurethane Another day on the bus, um, and yeah, getting some progress done. Uh, Tegan's currently working on, which is actually about to get lunch right now, but she's working on the walls, or the last of the walls, um, getting them primed and ready for the top coat paint. I'm finishing off these enclosures, showing a shit ton of insulation in there, I'm trying to anyway. Get all of that primed today, all of that primed, apart from looking blue, all of this primed, and the plywood base on. Um, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. I like how we're both. Even though the whole process of getting the floor down took longer than expected, with us working during the week and often only having a day in the weekend to work on Bobby, we were pretty stoked with the final result and glad to have a solid base to work on now.